Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Lockdown Faith Series. We're so glad you're here. I'm Mr. Randy, along with my good buddies, Miss Justine, Mrs. Denise, Mr. Rick, and Mr. Josh, and we're happy to be here with you. You know, we've been talking about YOLO, you only live once. That means we want to make good decisions and do what's pleasing to God. But first of all, we're going to enjoy another duck race. Get ready for this. Oh, I hope mine wins this time. duck race is what it's quacked up to be anyway hey miss justine what do you think of that duck race do you like that uh it was exciting but also a little disappointing i keep rooting oh, yeah. for yellow and it, it it's letting me down after week after week so but we'll see i still have hope all right kids we have another fun fact question for the week and because we really want to know more about you and get to know your favorites. So the question for this week is, what is your favorite color or flavor of Skittle? You know, everybody has a favorite color or a favorite flavor of Skittle. Mine is red, and it happens to be my, my favorite color as well. So let us know in the comments below what your favorite flavor of Skittle is. All right, Mr. Randy, I think we should sing. Do you have a song? I do have a song. You know, every day we should thank him for everything we have. We should thank him with our songs, with our life, and thank him for Jesus, for, our, for his son who died for us. So let's sing that song right now. Thank you. Hope you remember this one. Your deeds. 
That's right. That's the first thing I say in the morning when I get up is thank you for everything. Uh, you know, we all have our superheroes. You know, we have those like Superman and Batman, you know, but there's no greater superhero than Jesus, our Savior. Sing this with us right now. so glad that we are back again doing another YOLO lesson. You know, you only live once, so you've got to make this life count. So I have a question for you. Have you ever met someone that acts like a real jerk? I mean, they're rude, cruel, prideful. They treat everyone well, like they're all losers. I mean, isn't that the worst to be treated that way? Okay, but now... I'm gonna ask you an even tougher question, and I want you to answer it honestly. Have you ever been a jerk? 
Have you ever said something mean to someone, bragged about how much better you are than others, or, or you throw a fit when you don't get your way? Well, today, we're going to learn about how not to be a jerk. So pay close attention. You can learn a lot. But before we get into our lesson, I want you to watch this awesome video. This series, YOLO, You Only Live Once, where we have been looking at some awesome stories from the book of Esther. And of course, I've been on my journey doing crazy stunts and facing my fears. Today, I'm going to do the craziest stunt yet. Let's go. Today, we're gonna go cliff diving, but it's kind of a long drive, so let's go. We're here at the cliffs, and I'm gonna be honest with you, these are a lot higher than I thought they were gonna be. I just need a second to hype myself up. Here we go. Okay, I think I'm ready. Forget it. I cannot believe that I just did that. Wasn't that awesome? You know, for a really long time, I was determined to never try that. The reason why is because there's this guy at my school who always makes fun of me for being too scared. He calls me ugly names, treats me horrible, all because I'm too scared to do it. You know, some people can be really mean. They make other people feel like they are less than them. They tear other people down and make them feel really bad about themselves. Some people call these people jerks. There's someone in the book of Esther who really struggled with being a jerk. His name was King Xerxes. He would tear other people down and make them feel like they didn't matter. That's not good. In your lessons today, you're gonna learn all about King Xerxes. I mean Xerxes. You're gonna learn that God doesn't want us to treat people horribly. God wants you to be a blessing, not a jerk. Well, I'm gonna let you get back into your lesson today. And while you do that, I'm gonna be planning my next big stunt. Until next time, I'm Lauren reminding you that you only live once. Make it count. You know what, guys? Lauren is exactly right. We need to do our very best to avoid being a, uh, a jerk. Well, today we're going to learn what not to do by looking at a story about a man named King Xerxes. He was just a little bit selfish, but if we can avoid his mistakes, we can make sure that we don't fall in his footsteps. Now, Let's go ahead and find out what's up today. Today's main point, everybody, is to treat people nicely. Don't be selfish. God's vision for us and his desire for us is to treat others the way that we want to be treated, to think of other people before ourselves. So let's go ahead and learn a little bit more about that. Wally, are you okay? It, it's me, Justine. I don't believe you. Well, you are a supervillain in disguise. Supervillain? What, is there an echo in here? Yes, I said a supervillain, and I will not let you turn all of these children into a... I'm not going to let you harm them in any way. Wacky, wacky Wally, away! Oh. Aha, now there's no way you can escape, Justine. 
Oh, well, oh no! Don't worry, citizens. I will protect you somehow. Wally, please stop this. I'm not some supervillain. I'm me. Uh, that's just what a supervillain would say, too. And as a superhero in training, it is my duty to bring you to justice. Well, why are you so convinced that I'm a supervillain? What did I do? You are teaching these kids how to be selfish. Well, I heard you with my super hearing. But today's lesson is all how to be a, a, a how to be a jerk. Well, only a villain, a super vile villain of incredible uh, villain tude would do such a thing. Wally, I'm not teaching the kids how to be a jerk. I'm teaching them how not to be a jerk. Uh, you admit it, you horrible, no good, smelly, good, but, but, wait, what? Today's lesson is to help the kids by telling them things that a jerk would do and telling them not to act that way. Oh, uh, why did you just say that, Justine? I mean, I was about ready to zap you with my heat vision. You have heat vision? Well... I got a flashlight, but it's super annoying. Uh, well, so how does one exactly act like a, <clears throat> a jerk? Well, first you make sure everyone knows how much you have. People that show off and brag about themselves all the time are not fun to be around. Uh, don't I know it. Have you ever hung out with Batman? <laughs> oh, my name's Batman. My superpower is being rich. <laughs> Check out my bat car and my bat shoes and my bat butler. Blah, 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 blah. Well, I've never met Batman, but something else they do is get mad when they don't get their way. All they care about is themselves. I hate it when that happens. Like, Big, whiny, cry, bat baby, or baby, bat cry, or the bat baby. Are you still talking about Batman? Um, no. Anyway, finally, they treat people like they don't matter. Oh, that's horrible. Well, I am glad that you are not a supervillain and that you're teaching these kids how not to act like Batman. Well, I mean, that you're teaching them not to act selfishly. Well, don't act like a, a jerk. That's, well, I better go back to patrol now. Well, you're all safe, thanks to me. Wacky Wally, away! Okay, kids. Well, that was very interesting, that interaction with Wally, but he does bring up a good point about another character, an important character that we're gonna talk about today from the Book of Esther. Well, it's King Xerxes. King Xerxes was the king in the land where Esther lived. One day, King Xerxes threw a huge party. There was lots of food and tons of people celebrating the king. He was very rich and pretty much got whatever he wanted. He invited everyone to this party just to see how wealthy he was and how much great stuff he had. He also wanted to show off his wife, Queen Vashti. She was a very beautiful woman, and he wanted everyone to see her so they would know just how great his wife really was. Well, he wanted to make them jealous. Well, Queen Vashti refused to come out in front of everyone at the party. She chose to remain humble and told King Xerxes she wasn't going to, which made King Xerxes extremely angry. Well, when he found out she refused his wishes, he yelled to his servants, kick her out of the castle. I shall choose another queen. Wow. Well, that's a bit harsh, but that's exactly what happened. Queen Vashti was kicked out and no longer considered the queen. So King Xerxes needed a new queen. He decided to hold a beauty contest for all of the young women in the land. He sent his servants out to find the most beautiful woman, beautiful women and bring them back to him. When they would bring the women back to him, he would sit on his throne and decide if he liked the way each girl looked or not. King Xerxes was ruthless and none of the women were good enough to be his queen. 
until one day a girl named Esther came before the came before the king. She was very beautiful and King Xerxes was very impressed with her. When he saw her, he immediately said, Esther, will you be my new queen? It was a great honor for Esther to be the queen, but very sad how it all happened. King Xerxes was a jerk. He kicked out Queen Vashti because of her humble spirit, not wanting to be shown off at the party. Then he demanded that all of the beautiful women in the land be paraded in front of him in a huge beauty contest. Well, King Xerxes did not handle things well. And today in your lesson, you're going to learn how to handle things way different than he did. So listen closely later on so you don't become a jerk like King Xerxes. <sighs> that is a very interesting lesson, isn't it? Mr. Mr. Rick? Thank you, Miss Justine. It's time for us to learn of our memory verse today. And our memory verse is actually found in Philippians, which is my favorite book in the Bible. So it's on the screen, so say it with me. Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble. Thinking of others is better than yourselves. Now I want us to look at that verse for a minute. The first part says, don't be selfish. And that's so true. Don't think about yourself all the time. Think of others. And the second part says, don't try to impress others. Well, we just saw what King Xerxes did. And how many times have we been guilty of trying to impress others? Don't do it. The Bible says, don't try to do that. And the third part of the verse says, be humble. Thinking of others is better than ourselves. Sometimes we use the word selfless as the opposite of selfish. And that means that we aren't thinking of ourselves. We're thinking of others. We're taking care of them and helping them. And that's what it means. Think of others is better than ourselves. Again, that's found in Philippians 2, 3. And right now, I think it'd be a great time for us to have a prayer before we continue with our lesson. Father, I want to thank you for our time together today, for this lesson that you're giving us as we continue to study about the book of Esther. And as we're learning from King Xerxes how not to act, Thank you that you gave us this verse of Philippians that tells us how to act, to not be selfish, to not try to impress others, but to be humble and think of others as better. Father, if we would just do that, life would be better for all of us. So give us the strength to do that. Help us recall this verse in Jesus' name. Amen. And I think Mrs. Denise probably has something for us right now, don't you, Mrs. Denise? I surely do. I, hey, Mr. Josh, would you mind taking our PowerPoint down for just a minute? That would be awesome. Thank you, sir. Okay, so how many of you guys um, have ever seen someone's house that was so much nicer than your own house? Something kind of like this house. Now, I know that when I was growing up, <laughs> I saw other kids who had houses that were so much nicer than mine. I mean, you thought that your house was cool. I think that my house was cool when I was growing up, but then you go to somebody else's house and it is way better. It's bigger, it's newer, it's cleaner, and it had way nicer things inside. I mean, has that ever happened to you? You know, it's a little bit of a bummer, isn't it? I mean, you think that your room and your toys are awesome, but it turns out your friends' things are way better than your room or your toys, and, 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 and they just have tons more of everything. But you know what's worse? It's when your friend, well, it isn't humble about all of that. Have you ever had your friend brag about all of their stuff, maybe they really show off how much more awesome their life is than yours. Well, nobody likes it when that happens. But that's what King Xerxes did in our Bible story today. He had a nicer house, better food, cooler stuff, more than anybody else had. And he even thought his wife, King Vishta, was better than anybody else's wife. So 
He invited everyone over for a party so he could brag about how great his life was. Well, as it turns out, doing that really has kind of made him look like a, a jerk. So today we're going to learn from King Xerxes how to be a jerk. Now, follow along with today's lessons because you're going to find out the way uh, to be the jerkiest jerk around. I mean, hopefully you're going to avoid following these lessons. So here's the first one. Make sure that everyone knows how much stuff you have. Now, King Xerxes made sure that everyone knew how much he had. He even threw a huge party so more people would come and, and see all of his great stuff. He was the opposite of humble. He was prideful. Now, King Xerxes needed to be reminded of our memory verse this week. Don't be selfish. Don't tie, try to impress others. Be humble and think of others as better as yourself than yourself. Now that's found in Philippians chapter 2, verse 3. Now, our next lesson to follow if you want to be a jerk is get mad when you don't get your own way. Okay, so have you ever seen a baby throw a fit and an all-out temper tantrum? So what does that sound like? They cry and they scream and they yell and they squawk until they get what they want. Well, could you imagine if an adult did that? Now, if you watched with us last week, I know you can imagine that because you saw Mr. Rick and Mr. Josh throw their temper tantrums. Do you remember that? Well, what if when your parents or your grandparents and your teacher threw a big old fit when they didn't get what they wanted? Okay, let's say, they asked for no pickles on their burger at the restaurant. And when the waiter got it all wrong, well, they flopped that burger on the floor, flailing their arms and crying. I mean, that would be crazy, right? But that's pretty much how King Xerxes responded when King Vish Queen Vishta didn't come out in front of everyone at his party. He threw a huge fit, yelling, kick her out of the castle, I'm picking a new queen. What a jerk. I mean, it's important that you don't get mad when you don't get your way. When you have to do chores, don't get upset and throw a fit. Put a smile on your face and do what's right. When you have to clean your room, don't get mad and yell and scream. Instead, say, yes, sir, or yes, ma'am, and go clean your room. Christians shouldn't whine and fuss over having to do things in this world that we don't like. It's just a part of life. We need to have a good attitude no matter what. We need to be like Jesus and, and, and not mad and complaining when things don't go our way. Okay, so now the last thing that you can do if you want to be a jerk is treat other people like they don't matter. Now, King Xerxes treated Queen Vishta like she didn't matter. He made her lose her position as the queen because he wanted everyone to see how beautiful she was, not how humble she was. And he also treated all the other women like they didn't matter too by demanding that they be a part of this silly beauty contest. They had to stop doing their normal things in life to come and parade around in front of the king. He didn't care about their families or their talents or, or anything else. He just, um, well, it was just if they were beautiful enough to be his queen, that's all, that's all he thought about. And that is a crummy way to live. We need to treat everyone like they matter because everyone does matter to God. And, and so they should matter to us too. Our best friend, our family, our teacher, or even the bully at school, the neighborhood jerk, and the people in this world that are just plain mean. We need to treat everyone like they matter. So if you don't want to be a jerk like King Xerxes, but you wanna be humble, don't get mad. And when you don't get your way, treat people like they matter. You know, that's a really hard lesson for us to remember all the time. It is so easy for us to get mad or to, to not 
care about people and, and to know that everyone matters and everyone is important to God. So since we had to learn so many hard lessons today, Mr. Rick, can you help us with our brain drain? Oh, I'd be happy to, Mrs. Denise, because our brain should be really full of all that great information. And now we're going to see if we can drain a little bit out of that with some questions. So are you ready? Let's start with our first question today. What's up today? Is it let's be nice, treat people nicely, don't be selfish, or don't be mean to others? What do you think? Well, here's the answer. It is treat people nicely. Don't be selfish. And that's actually part of our memory verse for today too. So our second question for the day, what kind of person was King Xerxes trying to choose for his kingdom? A cupbearer, a servant, or a queen? And if you missed this, you didn't pay a whole lot of attention. So I hope you get it right. The answer is a queen. Number three, did King Xerxes hide his wealth? Yes or no? Obviously it is no, because he want everyone to see what he had. He wanted to impress them. Number four, true or false, King Xerxes picked a queen before he ever saw Esther. What do you think, true or false? I think it has to be false, because if they picked him first, he would never have had Queen Esther. Number five, who is hosting our intro videos? It's got to start with an L. Lauren, Lakin, or Laura? Do you remember? It is Lauren. Okay, we're halfway through. Still got some brain power up there. Well, true or false, we must treat people nicely. True or false? You really should have said true. If you said false, you were more like King Xerxes. So number seven, according to our lesson today, those who are selfish may make sure everyone knows, we'll go fill in the blank, everyone knows how little, how much, or what you have. Well, so these are selfish people, so they want everyone to know how much. Next question. According to our lesson today, selfish people get, is it sad, hurt, or mad when you don't get your way? Well, selfish people tend to get mad. All right, doing good. We've got two more. According to our lesson today, those who are selfish treat people like they don't matter, don't care, or don't laugh. Hopefully you got that from Mrs. Denise, what she was sharing with us. The answer is they don't matter. And our last question on our brain drain, are your brains about empty? Well, let's find out if you can remember this last one. Where was our memory verse found today? And remember, I gave you a hint that's my favorite book in the Bible. Was it Proverbs 3.12, Philippians 2.3, or Psalms 14.2? See how well you paid attention because Mrs. Denise and I both shared that verse with you. It is Philippians 2, 3. Well, hopefully you did great and got all the answers correctly, and yet there's still a little bit left in this brain. Enough left that I think Mr. Randy's probably going to lead us in another song. Is that right? I would love to, and thank you, Mr. Rick, for all this valuable information. And, you know, we can remember all this stuff and live like God wants us to when we let go and let God have control of our lives and when we love him with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength, we're going to sing a song now. It's called, Ah, uh, Ah, uh, uh, Yeah. Sing this with us, right? And take it out of park. Ah, 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 yeah. Praise the Lord on your two feet. Praise the Lord on the tambourine. i 
Thanks for joining us. What a great time we've had. We'll see you. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye.